Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday, May 3rd, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Let's begin today with news on the renewal of a BBC America drama called Orphan Black. It tells the tale of a woman who steals the identity of a suicide victim who looks just like her. It recently premiered. It's gotten some very positive press, and BBC America has picked it up for a second season. Now, here's news on a show that came back from the dead. It is called Drop Dead Diva on Lifetime. It was canceled by the cable network after four seasons, and it is returning for a fifth season on Sunday, June 23rd at 9 o'clock into the series finale of Devious Maids from Desperate Housewives creator Mark Cherry. Drop Dead Diva tells the tale of a aspiring beautiful model who dies suddenly and is morphed into the body of an overweight, brilliant lawyer. Now let's head to TV land. The cable network, which is known for airing original programming in the Wednesday 10 o'clock hour, will continue to do so this summer, but it is actually expanding to 90 minutes. It will open on Wednesday, June 19th, with a live episode of Hot in Cleveland, leading into the season premiere of The Exes, followed by the season premiere of The Soul Man, and new on The Soul Man, and this is reminiscent of the beginning of Seinfeld way back when, is comedian Cedric the Entertainer will close each episode with two minutes of stand-up comedy at the end of each episode. Seinfeld used to do it in the beginning of the episode, then they ultimately dropped it. I actually had the opportunity to interview Cedric many years ago. Very, very nice man. Now let's head over to some news on either season or series finales this weekend, and I will make some predictions. On ABC Tonight, there are two more episodes of sitcom Happy Endings. The 8.30 p.m. installment is billed as the season finale. The question is, will ABC bring it back for a fourth season? Because really, nobody's watching it. Uh, my prediction is ABC will renew it because they need, the distributor needs more episodes for Off Network, so I have a feeling it will come back at some point next season. On Fox on Saturday, 24-year-old Cops is concluding the season. Is that going to return? Keep in mind that last fall it was not on the schedule. It didn't come back until mid-season. The ratings are way down, but I'm not necessarily sure Fox is ready to close production on Cops. On Sunday, we have the season finales of The Amazing Race and The Mentalist on CBS. They have both been renewed, but The Mentalist, since moving to Sunday, this season has lost a lot of steam. So the question is, what will CBS do to fix Sunday night? My suggestion is move NCIS Los Angeles to the evening and utilize the Tuesday 9 o'clock hour for the upcoming NCIS spinoff, NCIS Red. And then we have... What is being billed as the season finale of recently introduced Red Widow on ABC. Forget about it. That show is dead. Now, coming up tonight, we have the series premiere of a new sitcom on IFC. It is called Marone. It is headlined by comedian Mark Marone, and I had the opportunity to interview Mark the other day. I am putting up the Q&A this morning. I hope you will check it out. This is a sitcom that basically is based on his life. It's the story of a comedian who's been divorced twice. He's a recovering alcoholic, and he does a podcast from his garage. That is Mark Marone's life. Two items, or actually three items in TV history on this day in 1986 was the series finale of a two-and-a-half-season legal drama on CBS called Crazy Like a Fox. It aired out of Murder, She Wrote. In 1991 was the season, or series finale, excuse me, of the original Dallas on CBS. It ran for 13 years and 357 episodes. There were only four scripted network series historically that have produced more episodes than the original Dallas, and they are Gunsmoke, Lassie, Law and & Order, and Bonanza. And finally, on this day in 2000, was the final episode of Fox serialized drama Party of Five, which I personally was a very big fan of. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this third day of May. I hope everybody has a great weekend. And I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, on Monday. Take care.